Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Wanhao Duplicator i3 with the Micro Swiss All Metal Hot End Upgrade Kit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You ready? Go. Not too long ago, I was contacted by Micro Swiss, and they, they, they're a fan of my videos, and they wanted me to show you guys how their all-metal hot-end upgrade for the Wanhao Duplicator i3 can be installed. I have a Wanhao Duplicator i3, and they said, here, here's a kit, install it, film a video, and maybe show some people how it works. Well, it's pretty cool. So it comes with, well, there's this little two and a half millimeter Allen wrench it comes with. There's a cooling block replacement. Let's see, there, cooling block replacement. There's a there's a thermal barrier tube, and then there's the plated nozzle. So the, the big part here that makes it all metal is this thermal barrier tube. Usually, you would have a PTFE tube that sticks into this and comes through and goes into the nozzle. However, with this, this is all metal. There's no PTFE tube in this or the nozzle. And being all metal means you can reach higher temperatures and print with some interesting materials. Here's, I think, the most interesting part of this entire process. What you're going to see is a video of me doing the installation of the All Metal Hot End Upgrade. I filmed it with my GoPro and it's in real time. I speed up the video when I have to preheat the nozzle to a certain temperature. However, other than that, it's real time, which means the total install time and the total upgrade time is 12 minutes. It took me 12 minutes to do this. And, and it was simple. <laughs> it was surprisingly simple. And I have these big meaty fingers that couldn't handle the Allen wrench very well and it kept dropping. So it could even take you less time. It's a wonderful upgrade. Let me show you how to do it. In the kit are the nozzle, an Allen wrench, the thermal barrier tube, and the cooling block. I'm throwing in my wrench a screwdriver, another screwdriver, my needle nose pliers, that thing, and my socket. Before you start, make sure you've raised the Z-axis high enough to allow yourself to work easier. Start by getting an Allen wrench and removing the two screws that hold the fan duct in place. Hopefully your fingers work better than mine do when attempting this procedure. The next step in this process is to turn on your Wanhao Duplicator i3 and preheat the nozzle to 250 degrees centigrade. To do this, press the button, go down to Extruder, go down to Temp1, click the button, and turn to the right until the numbers reach 250. Thanks to the magic of technology, you don't have to sit through the entire heat up process. I'm going to speed it up for you. At this point, it's time to remove the nozzle. Grab the heater block with some channel locks and put the socket around the nozzle to unscrew it. You can see I'm having some issues because the best angle to hold the channel locks at is also the best angle to film with my GoPro. Eventually, I took the socket off and just held it in my fingers to unscrew the nozzle, but be careful if you choose to do this, remember, the nozzle is preheated to 250 degrees centigrade. Before we go any further, be sure to turn off the machine and let it cool down. You can, however, in this time, unplug the stepper motor connector. Now it's time to unscrew and remove the fan heatsink assembly while you hold on to the stepper motor. You can use your Allen wrench for this, and the screws are on the bottom side of the fan. You can see I'm having a little bit of an issue with this, but I made it through it, so don't worry. If I can do it, you can do it.
Oh, yep, I dropped that. That won't be the last time I drop things. I tried to use my Allen screwdriver, but again, that fell out of my fingers as well. Once I did get this done, and once you get yours done, just, just set everything down on the build plate and you'll be good to go for the next step. The original cooling block is held in place by two screws underneath the bracket. Use an Allen wrench to remove those two screws to get the original cooling block off the bracket. But remember, don't lose those screws, you're going to need them. With the cooling block out of the bracket, use an Allen wrench to loosen the set screw holding the thermal tube in place. Once it's loose, you can remove it and set it aside. Now go for the thermal tube. Yep, that one right there. Unscrew it with your hands. It should work, but if not, you can use a wrench to get it out. At this point, you're gonna need your nozzle. Grab the nozzle, take it out of the bag, and install it into the heater block. When you install the nozzle, turn it all the way until it bottoms out and make sure it bottoms out. But then once it's bottomed out, back it off a quarter turn. Grab the thermal barrier and take it out of the package because it's time to install this. The installation of this is pretty simple. Just put it into the heater block and turn it until it bottoms out. The cooling block is up next. Remove that from the package and get ready to install it. Installation of the cooling block is pretty easy. Just notice where that slot is, and you'll want to make sure it's on the right-hand side. The cooling block goes over the thermal tube fairly easily. Make sure there's a little bit left sticking out of the top of the cooling block. I think the instructions say 1.7 millimeters, but I eyeballed it. Once the thermal tube is in place, grab an Allen wrench, put it in the side, and turn the set screw to hold it firmly. Now that the nozzle, heater block, and thermal tube are all connected into the cooling block, you can attach that back to the bracket. Remember those two screws I told you not to lose? Find those screws and install them.
These screws were a little difficult for me to get to because of the camera being in the way and it being a small space to work in. But I eventually got it in, I persevered, I made it through, you will as well. Now you can install the fan assembly and the stepper motor back into the cooling block. Try to keep everything in line, and then once everything's lined up, use the Allen wrench to turn the screws to tighten everything in place. Just remember when putting things back together, the order is screw, fan, spacer, heat sink. I got that mixed up. You didn't see it on video because I didn't film it. Now all you need to do is connect up the stepper motor control cable and once that's done, turn on the machine and preheat the nozzle to 250 degrees centigrade. Use your channel locks to hold onto the heater block and support it while you use your socket to tighten the nozzle. Since everything was preheated at this point and everything was lined up, I decided to grab a small amount of ColorFab PLA and feed it through just to see if it would work. And it did. You can see it's extruding the plastic quite well. Everything looks good. I'm gonna consider that awesome. Now all that's left to do is install the fan duct. Go find those two screws and put those in. Give it a good tighten one last time, and then that's it. You're done. You've installed the all metal hot end upgrade from Micro Swiss. Well, what did you think? That was it. That was the, the process to upgrade your one out duplicator i3 with the all metal hot end upgrade from Micro Swiss. It was, it was simple. That was really easy. I, I hope you like the format. I filmed it with my GoPro, and then afterwards I was able to do voiceover and, and tell you about what I was doing, and then I added a, a 
a music bed. That's pretty simple. Micro Swiss has detailed instructions that I followed that you could follow as well. And when you purchase this kit, they'll send them to you. The link to purchase this kit is going to be down there in the description. That's it for today. I hope that was beneficial. I hope that was useful. Give it a thumbs up if you like the Wanhao Duplicator i3, if you like the idea of giving it an all metal hot end upgrade, if you like Micro Swiss, or if you like pizza. Yeah, pizza. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all, and I'll do my best to answer them. Share this video with your friends if you think they'd find it valuable, if you think that they should see this because they have a Wanhao Duplicator i3 and it should be upgraded to an all metal hot end. A big thanks to my patrons who support me through patreon.com. If you have a dollar or extra a month and you want to throw it my way, you can click the link up there. However, I require no money at all. And if you want, all you need to do is give me a high five socially. Being a patron does have its advantages though. And I'm starting to release exclusives to the patrons, including the STL file for my full body high five scan. That's pretty exciting. And people have been printing it. It's neat. So thanks patrons. I, I appreciate that. And I hope to give back more in the future. A big thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate the time you give me and I'll do my best to keep putting out quality content. As always, high five.